Today I will show you how to make hydrazine iodides. This hydrazine salt itself is pretty useless, especially if you already have hydrazine hydrate. But watch this video anyways and I will show you an interesting intermediate reaction. For the preparation you will need 50 grams of iodine, 25 milliliters of hydrazine monohydrate and distilled water. We began by adding 50 grams of elemental iodine to round bottom flask. If you look really closely, you can actually see a faint purple color because of iodine vapor. The reaction of iodine with hydrazine hydrate directly is extremely violent. To make it calmer and also not to lose our intermediate product, which I will talk about later, distilled water was added. We want the reaction to be as calm as possible and therefore the hydrazine hydrate is going to be added via an addition funnel. I never worked with hydrazine hydrate before. I have no idea if it can easily build up an explosive atmosphere. As a safety measurement, we therefore ended up flushing the apparatus with argon. Hydrazine hydrate is extremely toxic. I wore a gas mask and also had running ventilation while handling it. You can even see the bottle smoke a little, although it was cooled in the fridge before. 25 milliliters of this angry cancer water was added to the addition funnel. This is a massive excess. I did this to ensure that we get the monohydrogen iodide salt. In contrast to this, hydrazine dihydrogen iodide also exists. Ice bath is also beneficial because this keeps the reaction calmer and it also keeps the intermediate product in solution. You can see a lot of smoke and also gas generation. In the first step of this reaction, the iodine is reduced to form hydrogen iodide and the gas is nitrogen. The vapor is mainly hydrazine hydrate and I set up a gas washing bottle to get rid of it in the exhaust gases. Now I gotta say, this is a beautiful reaction. First it turns somewhat brown and later you get a clear color at the top and a lava lamp like effect. The same method could be used to make hydrogen bromide and hydrazine hydrobromide or even with the chloride. In these cases you have to be careful though because the reaction is much more vigorous. At some point we were left with a clear reaction mixture and I tested the pH which turned out neutral. To get a dry product you could boil down the solution on a hot plate but this is a surefire way to get a lot of tiny carcinogenic droplets which you would inhale. A better way is to either use an expensive rotary evaporator, which I don't have, or to connect your flask to a second one containing an hydrous calcium chloride to evacuate the apparatus and to apply heat to your reagent containing flask. I'm lazy and I'm therefore going to heat the flask in a pot of boiling water. It did not take long for the solution to start boiling and after about 2 hours most of the liquid was gone. In the end it looked like this and if I had to do this all over again, I would just boil it off in a crystallizing dish, followed by drying it in a vacuum chamber. I let the flask stand for two days and nothing solidified and I first thought that I somehow destroyed the product. But after it was transferred to a crystallizing dish, it instantly crashed out and it was beautiful to watch. To get rid of the last bit of water, an hydrous calcium chloride was put into a plastic tray and I crammed the crystallizing dish into the top. Under vacuum, the water evaporates even quicker and therefore I pull the vacuum. In the end, we were left with these beautiful, slightly yellow crystals. To determine the yields, the powder was scraped onto a piece of paper and then transferred to a pre-weight storage bottle. I always do it this way because transferring it directly from the glass dish to the bottle without spilling half of it is nearly impossible. In the end, we were left with 60.9 grams and this represents a yield of 96.6%. And there you go, now you know how to make hydrazine hydroiodide and if you reflux and use just the right amount of hydrazine hydrate, you can get pure hydroiodic acid. I would like to thank all of my Patreons, because without you guys, this channel would not be where it is today. So thanks for that and if anyone else wants to have their name at the end of these videos and receive access to a few Patreon exclusives, feel free to check the link in the video description.